all right so the initial telling sign that our microtic don't have any ip b6 enabled is with the use of winbox and if you go to neighbors you will see only an ipv4 address but of course we need to go in and again for forger checking we can go in and verify if really there is no ipv6 okay so we will connect to our microtech so this microtech is in default configuration so you will see the default ip address and we don't have any password so it's still using version 6 so later on in our video we will compare how about what if the microtech is in version 7 so for now so our version is 6.4913 long term so we'll click on the mac address and let's click connect okay so we are now inside the configuration for our microtech so we have the default change password window so let me zoom in for your convenience okay so we can maximize this and don't have any old password so for the convenience let's just type mt mt for microtech for new password yes not secured but again for this demonstration only okay so the second telling sign that don't have any ipv6 version 6 enabled is on the menus so you have ip but this is for ip version 4 so if you go with the address so you have the ipv4 address but you don't have any for ipv6 and finally the third telling sign that don't have any ipv6 enabled is if you go to system and if you go to packages and you see the list of packages that are enabled okay so you will see clearly that ipv6 with an x flag so it is not enabled so that is why uh, there is no ipv6 yet on this microtech so obviously what we can do is click on the ipv6 and click enable so let me zoom in a bit and for you to see so ipv6 and click enable okay so scheduled for enable so meaning to say we need to reboot the system before it could be enabled okay so let's do that so let's close the system packages window and we go to system and we will find the reboot and yes do you want to reboot the router so obviously we want to reboot so we could continue with the enable or the setting for the ipv6 all right our microtech has rebooted so we'll log in and check if the ipv6 feature is there so we need to supply the password so click connect and we are now inside and if you see clearly so after ip we also have ipv6 now so if we go to ipv6 and addresses so we have this address fe80 and the following hexadecimal numbers so prefix is 64 so also we can go to system packages again and go with the list and ipv6 is indeed enabled so the other verification if that's not enough okay so you go to log and by right you will see that the ipv6 is enabled okay next we will purposely disable first the ipv6 in our packages because we will upgrade our microtech from version 6 to version 7 and see what happens if how is it if in version 7 so ipv6 and disable and of course scheduled for disable and you know the drill so system reboot and yes we need to reboot the router okay our microtech has rebooted and we'll click on it and click connect and just verify yes there's no ipv6 
so system packages so ipv6 is faded out again and the log will show that the ipv6 is disabled okay so there are various ways on how to upgrade our microtik from version 6 to version 7 but for our demonstration we just go to files and we have already downloaded the router os version 7 for smips okay so it should match your microtik architecture the router os that you will have to download the npk file make sure the bytes is correct and you just drag and drop and it will begin to upload to our microtik okay so the router os version 7 package has successfully uploaded so the size should be correct you can also go from here so system packages and click check for updates and select the channel that you would like for example stable and check for updates but for this demo microtik i don't have any internet connectivity so if i hit the check for updates it will give me an error could not resolve dns name so let's reboot our microtik to continue the upgrade process so system reboot and do you want to reboot the router and i will click yes our microtik has rebooted so uptime 49 seconds and if you take a look closely so from a version 6 it's now 7.18 the firmware that we have uploaded or the router os that we have uploaded okay i have the two winbox versions here so we have version 4 and version 3.41 but let's use our version 4 so let's click connect on this microtik device so 7.18 so this mac address so let's click connect and we are connected using our version 4 okay so the zoom is here so let's zoom in a bit for viewer convenience so we have the ipv6 menu so in the version 6 it's ip mpls but in version 7 ordering it's ip then followed by the ip version 6 and you have this address list and I don't have any okay so we'll check what's inside the ipv6 menu so addresses so we have already seen this one so down below so you have settings and you'll see disable ipv6 so it's check so let's uncheck it and see what happens so apply okay and see what happens on the ip address and yes there is now an ld okay so link local address fe80 then finally we'll try to see if we can connect to this ipv6 address so rather than the mac address connection so we double click on this so we copy this address and click copy so there is a new win box here and we click new win box so we copy so let's say we don't have this okay so then click the password and click connect so invalid host address format so you need to have to put in brackets then when you click connect so you are now connected via ipv6 so you could see here admin at the fe80 ipv6 address 